We have some more NHL trade activity to discuss involving the Montreal Canadiens picking up a defenseman and we have another trade between the Capitals and the Devils. We'll jump into those details coming up next. Well, welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. Now, as I mentioned, we have some more trade activity to discuss here. Of course, tomorrow, uh, Monday, April 12th, is the NHL trade deadline uh, to get your roster set ahead of the NHL playoffs. And there's been a fair bit of activity here over the past 24 to 48 hours, and that activity continues. Now, of course, if in case you didn't catch the video, I just literally put out here in the last hour talking about the NHL waivers news. The Hams have placed Victor Mete on waivers, and I mentioned in that video that pretty much cements the fact that Mark Bergevin was likely going out to a another defenseman and he's done exactly just that he's acquired defenseman John Merrill from the Detroit Red Wings in exchange for a 2021 fifth round pick in minor leaguer Hayden Verbeek Verbeek's 23 years old now as parts of I think three years in the AHL um, likely not going to become a regular NHL player so they can certainly afford to part ways with him maybe he'll get more of an opportunity in Detroit with not such a deep team hard to say but certainly probably not a bad idea for him to be moved uh, for more more chances uh, John Merrill of course started with New Jersey's played with Vegas, signed a one-year deal in Detroit, uh, making 925000 so it's not an expensive contract. Somebody with a fair bit of experience, somebody with a lot of playoff experience being part of that Vegas team uh, when they went to their inaugural season there all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals. Um, John Merrill wasn't a huge part of that, but still, he's somebody who can be a third-pair guy. He's more like an insurance piece, can go in and out of your lineup. Uh, I don't expect him to play too big of a role in Montreal, and I wasn't necessarily expecting him to get a, like, you know, a huge name that's going to play you know like in the first or second pair uh, i mentioned that could be a possibility but it was more likely to be like a third pair guy as uh, somebody who can be an extra piece back there because it seems like they've lost confidence in mente and uh, maybe it's best that he does get picked up on waivers or maybe he'll be dealt if he uh, does indeed clear we'll have to wait and see on that so montreal gets a defenseman they've been rumored to be going for are they done at this point maybe it's hard to say i, I can't imagine them doing a whole lot more but you just never know uh, Mark Bergevin has been a busy man trying to get this team ready for the playoffs. And it could be a very interesting playoffs. They might be doing battle with the uh, rival here, Toronto Maple Leafs, in the first round if the standings kind of remain somewhat similar to what they are right now. So it should be a fun playoff round here, having the multiple battles in the North Division amongst the Canadian teams especially. There's some playoff battles there that we don't get to see very often. Now, of course, the other trade we have here today is the Washington Capitals trading defenseman Jonas Siegenthaler to New Jersey in exchange for a 2021 third-round pick. And that pick actually is a selection that originally belonged to the Arizona Coyote. So, of course, he's not making a ton of money, 800000 but it tells me that the Washington Capitals are likely trying to free up some more money here as well to maybe make another subsequent move. We'll have to see. Um, but obviously that uh, frees them up a little bit of money. Uh, roster spot as well. Uh, Siegenthaler is not a bad defenseman. Uh, to me, in my opinion, this is a, a good little pickup for New Jersey. He could probably get a bigger role there. Uh, certainly quite familiar with uh, countryman Nico Heischer. Uh, they played together on the Swiss national team at the World Juniors a few years back. Uh, so they're certainly you know, uh, quite accustomed to each other. So at least he'll be having at least one familiar face there. Siegenthaler actually had a pretty good World Junior. He was second on team scoring behind Heischer in that tournament as well. So certainly a, a good little pickup there, I think. And we'll have to see what else Washington is up to because clearly they're trying to make some room. So we'll stay tuned for more additional trade activity coming up here likely later today. I'll do my best to keep you up to date with all the latest news from the entire league for the NHL trade deadline 2021. And of course, we'll keep up with all the news afterwards as well, 365 days a year. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And we will catch you next time.